When your anger is short-lived, it means what you are suffering is your preference. And it might not be that you are angry about your current results. It's just that you are uncomfortable about it. The day an ego is comfortable in the midst of chicken. Even if they made him king, something went wrong. Jesus was celebrated among some people and then they took him, the Bible said, by force to make him king. He rebelled. You know why? It was bigger than that. There are people that like you bent. They would stay your friend if you remain bent over. The moment you have to rise, they will react. You are looking at me as, you don't, as if you don't know. That the moment God began to increase your finances, they became uncomfortable with you. They are comfortable because your mediocrity empowers their pride. So they are happy that you are where you are. There are people that can't be your friend again the moment you become big. Not because you threw them away, but because they can't stand your greatness. So sometimes the agitation, I'm still talking about people. The agitation be because my you are going beyond my expectation how dare you rise i've calculated your matter how come you are about to beat the equation and now everything you do annoys them Every, even the one that is for your good annoys them the one that doesn't concern them annoys them they stay where they are and point you and call you proud they never had a problem when you were bent over the moment you stood up straight glorifying God something in them was uncomfortable with your eyes let me tell you when a testimony shows up there are always two classes of people that react to the testimony those that rejoice with you and those that are put to shame that's how to know Okabanatonde Kilabakai to know a friend you should run away from is the person whom your testimony intimidates. <laughs> they use it to say something. Is it because you are making money now? That statement is deep. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is it because your own shop is growing now? You were just giving an advice. Have you ever gone like some of us that are into ministry? You want to advise somebody what you heard at the back when you were advising him for his ministers to grow. He said, the way he was talking to me, he was talking to me as if, as if me I'm not growing, as if me I'm nothing. Every time you have a testimony, we can all shout, but not all of us are not ashamed. There are some people your failure inspired. Oh, they, they are an inspiration if you have failed. So they can use you as an example. So can't you see I'm making it? So they, they need you to stay small so that always they can be an example. But a day comes when Jehovah shows up on your matter. How you will uncover them is that you will find out that instead of them glorifying God with you and rejoicing with you, they will feel ashamed. Do you know why? They likely said at the back, this one cannot be healed. This one cannot grow a big church. This one cannot... <laughs> there are people that are like lions they are only waiting for a day of your crash they want to be accurate prophets by your failure oh you don't understand what I'm saying I said it, didn't I say it I, I, I always told her so your failure now becomes a sta an establishment of your accuracy somebody has a fire at the top of your voice listen people get married and they are broke and somebody said i want her okay if you didn't want her would it have made the guy rich okay is it that the people you did not want they are rich why, why do you want to be accurate about my failure why they better you what's the problem now nobody wants to help that couple in that family because they are claiming I want our daughter not to marry that guy. Now she's in trouble. Nobody wants to attend to her because they claim they said it. Oh, you're accurate prophet. Anyone saying, I told you you will suffer. I told you you will suffer. I command them to eat up their words. I hope you know the expectations of the wicked can be a prayer point. It can give you prayer points. 
oh god when you know that you are not the only one praying it's just that you're praying about you it's just that your prayer point is opposite to their prayer point can you extend some more traction so that life will go in the direction of your expectation and not their own do you know that game that they hold hands like this you know that game that is the story of many people's lives in the direction where the pool is stronger the other ones will fall off that's what i want you to do my life just woke up and then it looks as if another person is driving it eh, eh? yeah one two three years four years 18 years uh -uh. who they drive my moto Kaya. the same way i have a map for my life at 20 i should be 22 i should be 23 as you have a calendar in the spirit a light there are calendars in the satanic kingdom that is why demons react when you wake up into freedom i don't i've drawn my road to go like this who is pushing me like this uh -uh. the plan with my finances is to move from here to here to here it be like another person they give me money and they collect them by say somebody gets married and you are doing the marriage as if somebody married for you how will i know they determine when you give birth they say yes or no to childbearing they say yes or no to family finances Halai repair. 